Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Hope you guys are doing well. In today's video, we are going to be looking at yet another player review for team of the season, and this is team of the season plus Johan Bakayoko. Now, this player is a right winger, as you guys can see, 91 rated RDV is a card. Uh, so, we are going to be actually looking at what objectives you need to do to get this player. This is an objective player, if you guys are not aware of it. This was released not that long ago so i think he might still be there in your objectives make sure you guys go check your objectives out and complete this card it is a free card so even if you don't want to play with him i'm pretty sure at least you can use him as fodder but the stats look really nice the stats look really nice now what we'll do is we'll get into the stats we'll look at all his uh, skill move and all that good stuff put him in a team and see how good he is in his preferred position and we'll test out his speed his shooting his crossing all that good stuff now yeah without any further ado let's actually start with his skill move and weak foot which is four star four star both and i am actually pretty happy with four star weak foot now like i say in every video player review video i don't care about skill move i don't do skills so i don't really care about it if you are somebody who is big on skill moves then i think it'll be decent four star i am guessing he'll be able to do decent skills but weak foot is something that i am actually more interested in a right winger with a left preferred foot has four star right foot it's really good it's really good so apart from that his alternate position is right mid so if you guys have a formation which has right mid you can use him at right mid it'll be a bit more towards the midfield area but it's still the same right wing right mid position that wing side will be covered so yeah that's actually good place for psv is from belgium and yeah so all these good stuff now looking at his stats looking at his stats he has 94 pace i think since he's a touch plus player and if you have at least one or two belgium players or rdvj players he can go to full chemistry and some of these stats will get boosted so he'll get like plus three plus four some like in dribbling or shooting or even in pace so we are going to be looking at that once we make a team with him for, for now he has 95 acceleration 94 spin speed and under shooting if you guys see he has 94 finishing 91 short part and 90 long shots he has 90 curve now something that i always test is curve from the uh, outside the box you know that from the edge of the box i always try to get a curl in we'll see how it goes he has 94 crossing as well which is really good he has only 86 short pass but I think it will be good enough. We are going to be concentrating on his uh, crossing a lot. So I don't really worry about that. Apart from that, what stands out more is his dribbling. 92 rated dribbling overall. But under that you have 91 ball control and 93 dribbling. I am guessing. My guess is he will get those stats also boosted if he has full chemistry without any chemistry style. This is what I am telling. I am not going to be using any chemistry style. So I think he will have boosted chemistry all over the players and he has 99 heading accuracy and 93 jumping with 93 stamina now a lot of players that are, we have been looking at so far have been having good heading accuracy and good jumping and have always had aerial playstyle plus but he doesn't have it what does he have does he have like power header or something this is with pass plus he has finished shot as well which is really good he has rapid he has first touch plus he has trickster he doesn't have he has trivella okay trivella plus he has that is nice he has rapid he doesn't have where is that he doesn't have aerial and power header where is where does power header come am i am i bugging is power header here yeah power header is here so he doesn't have power header and he doesn't have aerial this is something for the first time i'm seeing because he has good jumping and good heading accuracy it is fine he has uh he has this one finish shot which i'm actually curious about and he has trivella plus as well now, i have no clue how to use trivella but i'm gonna try my best to show you guys what it looks like but we will test all these things uh yeah now without any further ado, actually i'll show you guys the objective these these is the objective torch player bakayoko now if you open this you see you have to get two finish shot goals you have to get three goals with an assist using a cross and you need to have a goal and an assist with the Belgium player in two different games and then you need to win five games while having at least two Belgium players it is very very easy 
so make sure you guys complete it as you guys can see i still have six days eight hours left so i am recording this a bit early on you guys will be getting it a bit like two three days later but you guys can see how easy it has been i spent like an hour to complete this and it has been very easy so let us collect the player and actually put him in a squad and see how he is in game okay as you guys can see we have put him in the team he's yeah we are putting him at right wing and gonna be trying him out i am not playing any chemistry styles on him so in case if i feel like i need to put any chemistry style on him i let you guys know in the pin comments of this video so if you guys check the pin comments i think the chemistry style will be there if i feel like it's necessary now as you guys can see this is the team i'm gonna just you know it's just a random team that i put together now we have tots plus vanekin and we have tots plus bakayoko now both are from belgium and I think that is why they have full chemistry because usually Vanekin doesn't have full chem, he just has two chemistry and yeah this is a decent enough squad to try out and we have the, the striker that I was talking about in previous videos, it's a very good striker, video is out on the channel actually, make sure you guys check it out, 99 pace, 99 pace on that striker, now this the wing right winger is something very very important for me, right wing position is a must, a good player has to be there. Okay, okay, he has good pace. He has good pace. He definitely has good pace. I would 100% say he has really good pace. Can he finish? Oh, great block. Bakayoko has good pace, guys. That 94 felt like 96. Not even gonna lie. I don't know if I showed you guys the boosted stats. Let me just see if I can show it from here. But my god, what stats? Okay, I can't show. I'll make sure I'll show you guys at the end of the video. His 94 feels like it's insane, guys. It's insane. Even his dribbling was not bad. I'm not gonna lie. His dribbling was it was a bit decent enough. And his ball control was really good. He has really good pace, guys. You can see, you can see how rapid he is. He has good ball control. He has good dribbling as well. I mean, that was my bad. But he has good, good ball control. Now, this is what I was telling you guys. From that place, I need to do a lot of shooting towards the goal and see how his curve is, how his shooting is. The shot bar seemed a bit decent. This curve didn't, like, it didn't impress me a lot. His pace is really good, guys. I was, I'm actually surprised that he has that, that much of a burst and he's still able to control the ball. That is actually pretty insane. He has good crossing as well. Actually, pretty good, pretty decent. Pretty decent. I'm happy with the way he's crossing. I'm happy with the way he's, he's positioning himself once he loses the ball as well. His crossing is good. His passing is decent. He's able to track back to a certain extent uh, while defending. And like I said, his speed is just, uh, it's, it's really good. It's really good. I am happy with the speed aspect of it. Ball control is also good. But dribbling, I'm not a bit satisfied as of now. Dribbling, it feels a bit dodgy. It feels a bit dodgy. But apart from that, I would say it's a good card. I, mean, uh, I don't know if how many of you guys still are in need of a right winger. But if you guys are, you guys are like new to the game. Or if you guys like just want to, you know, uh, see how... Try different players. I would say he's a good card. I don't know if I would suggest you guys use him at your starting uh, 11 player because definitely there are better players than him. Even if you do some uh, evolutions, you can get decent players out of. So I think overall for this objective, for this player, and for this player review, I would say. The, the card is really good the card is really good i have no complaints dribbling can be a little bit better but apart from that i don't see anything wrong with this i might actually use this card without any chemistry style itself yeah he has good shooting his shot power is really good his shot power is really good curve is a bit poor and dribbling is a bit poor not the whole dribbling stats it's just just the dribbling is a bit poor Okay, now we have won that game. We have got a good game out of him. Now, in case I forgot to show you guys the boosted stats. 
here you go the stats look like this as of now after getting full chemistry without any chemistry style on him he has 98 sprint speed i think that is why he was feeling very rapid and then he has 95 shot power he has he has 90 shot pass 90 95 shot power power shot power and he has 90 shot pass Yes, ball control. Oh, ball control has come to 95. Dribbling has gone to 97, but doesn't feel like it. But I'm pretty sure if I play more games with him, I will be able to feel that because I'm usually, I'm actually, my main right wing is Athenia as of now. But I feel like he's going to be a really good substitute for her. So I am happy that I did this object to make sure you guys also complete this. I'll see you guys in the next video until then take care stay safe stay motivated and keep smiling my guys bye bye